I'm a Steve here from Smoking Cigars. It is that time of year again, the Great Smoke 2023 Mardi Gras Madness. If you're wondering why everybody last year was calling it the best cigar event in the country, it was evident the day tickets were on sale. VIP tickets sold out in one day. That's right. They are all gone. Don't message us. Don't PM us. I'm sorry. There's nothing we could do. But there are still plenty of general admission tickets and virtual tickets. Once again, we'll be offering this event virtually as well as live. So for those of you who can't make it down, you'll be able to enjoy the festivities from the comfort of your own home. Michael Herklotz, Kim Keeney, and Paul DeGracco will be returning to be your co-hosts for your virtual experience. Whether you're coming down live or going to be enjoying the event from the comfort of your own home, your ticket price includes this epic package. It's one of our greatest Great Smoke packages in the history of this event. Over $400 worth of product and great swag for the low cost of $165. If you're coming down live, you'll get your package the day of the event. If you order your virtual ticket, they'll start shipping weeks prior to the event in early March. For those of you coming down, we have four full epic days of fun. We start off with Drew Estate and Jonathan Drew. Thursday night, our headquarters here in Boynton Beach. Friday night, two events. Steve Saka here at headquarters. And Evan Darnell once again returns to host our pre-event dinner with the Red Meat Lovers Club going off the top this year. I've seen the menu. It'll be up on the site soon. Incredible dinner. And our host, feature host this year, Michael Herklotz of Ferio Tego Cigars, who's made a very special cigar, especially for those attending the pre-event dinner. Saturday morning, we are starting early with the first ever tailgate party being hosted by the distinguished Ruffius and Eric Espinosa. There'll be a very special cigar made exclusively for that event for the first 100 attendees who go to the tailgate party. And of course, the main event will be Saturday afternoon. And then that night, after the main event, you can head back to our headquarters here. Where we'll have the man himself, Boofy Matt Booth, Room 101 Cigars, capping it all off with a beautiful Sunday brunch once again before everybody goes home from what we hope will be another historically, epically fun weekend. Do not hesitate. Tickets are selling this year faster than ever. Go to www.thegreatsmoke.com and get your live general admission ticket, your virtual ticket if you're going to enjoy from home, and tickets for either the dinner or the brunch. Epic time. We can't wait to see you all there. The Great Smoke 2023. Mardi Gras Madness. Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Rocky Mountain Cigar Show here with a special guest host, Big D, Danny Ravinelli of 505 Cigar Review. Just want to, before we get into the meat and potatoes of the show, and we've got an absolutely amazing packed show. We're going to be doing a giveaway, so definitely you're going to want to make sure you're commenting as Ish is going to be able to be the one that picks the comment at the end of the show that will receive the five pack. And so, big, big, big shout-outs to all the sponsors that make this show absolutely possible. BAMP Cigars, ROCF Cigars, Christoph, New Air Humidors, Sagrado Cigars, Abe DeBabna, the big man himself, Smokin.com. Definitely jump over there, sign up for their Cigar of the Month Club, as well as get tickets to the Great Smoke. And then behind Danny... There is a McAuliffe sign as well. Thank you so much to McAuliffe. Amanda and Dan over there and crew are absolutely amazing to work with. So we've got a fun show tonight. We're going to be bringing on a very close friend of mine and Danny's and uh, somebody that has kind of been with me now for a little while and have been kind of walking me through some of the ins and outs of the industry, a little bit more of the behind the scenes, what's bullshit and what's not, and uh, decided to team up with him on a nice, special little uh, experiment that we did. And we're going to be talking all about that. So without me just rambling my ass on, Let's go ahead and bring on Ish, Ish from ROCF and BAMP Cigars. How you doing, Ish? How you guys doing? Doing pretty good, man. Pretty good, pretty good. How's everything? Doing, doing very well, doing very well. So how is your December end of year wrap-up going for BAMP and ROCF? Busy, 
Very decent to be on. Easy to be on. Well, that's a good thing, though, yeah. right? It is. It, it is, is a good thing. It is a good thing. Oh, I see me twice. Oh, I see me twice. <laughs> oh, you do. Okay, so let me turn me down. All right, so now you shouldn't. So, um, Ish, let's just kind of dive right into it because you have the background banner of our special little project that we have going on. Now, everybody, the bands are not fully in yet, but they will be. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show the cigar. So this is our rendition of uh, Banff's Breakfast of Champions cigar. I will let Ish kind of explain what the cigar is, and then we'll get into a little bit of the special offerings uh, that we have going on. And since this is a sponsorship episode, because Banff and ROCF does sponsor the show, you will just see that rolling ticker across the bottom as there will not be any actual banner ads, uh, just because this is uh, ish coming on. And that's kind of the privileges that you get when you sponsor the program. So, Ish, I'll hand it over to you. Tell everybody what this is, how it came about, and what we did to it. Well, so what happened so what is happened the, is MRP, the MRP, MRP and is the Breath of Champions for Bam Cigars. It was a mistake, but it happened, I say, many times. I was cooking, you know, my wife, it was in his mother's house. So Sunday for me alone, I said, wow, beautiful. And not really, honey, you listen, but... I miss you. But anyways, I was by myself and I was cooking bacon and smoking a cigar. So the grease for the bacon, it went into the cigar. And after I finished cooking and cleaning and all of that, I puff in the cigar pack and it tastes like bacon. It smells like bacon. I said, wow, what is going on? So that's where I came with the MRE. Then somebody by the name of uh, Ryan Miller for my 50th birthday, he sent me as a present a eight or nine pounds slab of bacon that man told me when i tell you you will die for that bacon in fact my <laughs> wife doesn't allow me to eat none of that bacon at all so i just i a little thing for my wife and i read i sent the rest to the factory i said i want you to make the emery with that bacon. They told me why. I said because it's the best bacon I ever had. And now it comes the collaboration between Raya Miller and Bam Cigars. So the emery will be the same, the same product in storage. It will be ten times better. That bacon is fucking phenomenal, phenomenal. <laughs> so, and that's how it came, man. That's how it came. Yeah, I, I asked you to to roll a bundle uh, and and bring it for Cigar Fest. Um, Absolutely, yes. And uh, we handed it out. Danny was there, uh, as mm -hmm. well as a few others. We handed it out, and everybody absolutely loved it. So um, you looked at me the next day as we were driving up to Cigar Fest, and you were like, are we going to do this? I was like, what yeah. do you mean, do what? Like, Are we going to put the cigar out together? I'm like sure i guess uh if yeah. you felt good about it i it, i felt really good about it as well um so but uh well kind of let's let's back it up just a smidge and sure. tell everybody the makeup of the cigar the a little bit about the blend of the cigar other than just the bacon uh going inside or the bacon grease going in it uh, give everyone just a little background on the bl actual blend of it. Well, the blend uh, on this cigar, it has different countries. So at first, I want to do just Dominican because my factory is in Dominican. No, now, now I have one in Zimbabwe. But anyway, so I did a little Nicaraguan, a little Dominican. And what I did is special for this production that um, that people say, well, what is that? Is it Sumatra? Is it... It's a Havan or it is, well, it's a Cubra from Brazil. That's the taste that it gives you more of the bacon coming from. And um, and the, no, not the taste, it's not the smell. So it has a, you know, it's, it's just in this little Robusto 50 by 5, is five leaves, two binders, 
and one wrapper. So it's 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 it's, it's powerful thing. It's I love it. So no, it's a great smooth smoke, and then you add in that bacon and that beautiful blend in it. So let's get Danny's opinion. I I, I know Danny likes it, but give us a little bit about your opinion. On that. We forget that. I mean, before you go, we forget when you do the glue. You just put it's called cantapalo, so you just put it and you mix with water. So instead of mix with water, we mix with coffee. So when you just go to the cup and you roll the cigar, it's done not with water and the glue, it's done with coffee and the glue. So like this, it takes it, that's what it's called coffee, like you can see over the coffee and bacon. That's another thing that this cigar has. Well, tonight I am pairing this with. Sorry, the wrong bottle. The Axe and Oak regular bourbon, as to not overspice the cigar out of my palate. But Danny, give us a little breakdown of kind of what you think about it, and then we'll get into the special offer and what we're going to be doing tonight. Absolutely, I like it. Um, I I uh, I think all of us were in love in that that day in August when we were all smoking them together. Um, it turned out, I think, far better than Ish expected it to turn out. <laughs> and, uh, you know, being a fan of the regular Breakfast of Champions, uh, the flavor profiling, just something about it hits just different. And if you've had the regular Breakfast of Champions, you know those tastes you're looking for, they're still there. But there, there's just something bold and, and rich uh, and fresh about the, this newer blend. Uh, using, I guess, Ryan's bacon and the genius of Ish's mind with the blending. Uh, that just, I don't know, it, it's perfect harmony within the stick. No, but honestly, <laughs> to be honest, and, you know, I know it's honest. You, you will never catch me in a lie. And it is Brian's bacon he made the cigar. Period. So it was good because it was good. No doubt about it. But it's not that it's better. It's a thousand, a million times better with Ryan's uh, bacon. It's, it's, it's because, remember, he does like the maple syrup on the bacon and all of that. So now you have the sweetness as well. You have the coffee. You have the bacon. Come on, man. It's, it's, you know. <laughs> but, I, but I just, I, I want everybody to know, though, that it's not like, it's not like an acid infusion or it's not like a munchies infusion. The bacon is there, but it's more there as a afterthought. An afterthought, and, that mess, and the smell and the aroma. And Danny probably get a. He's always better at the aroma smells than I am. Um, but so the it's not like an infused cigar. So don't buy it expecting that you will get that sweet finish. As you smoke through the cigar, you get through about that first third. That bacon smokiness um, does start to pick up. You do get uh, uh, the, the just a really nice sweetness off of the maple syrup and the brown sugar that I use. But again, it's absolutely not a straight up acid style infusion where it tastes straight up like bacon. It's just added to the great blend that the cigar already is. Would you agree to that? But put, put it this way. Every leaf using this cigar, particular cigar, is at least five years age. So if you take the bacon and the coffee for the glue, it's a premium cigar. Now it's not, now theoretically, it's not infused. It could be flavor. Is not neither because it's it's, a, it's it's grease anyways. It's not like you spray, you know, bacon in a fucking steam in a cigar. You, you don't do that. But it's it's, a, it's still a premium cigar. But we added two different things, so which is the coffee and the bacon. But yeah, I I agree. It is um, it's phenomenal. So uh, I don't know what to tell you. It's the MRE was good. It was a very good seller. These things. It's a thousand times better, no more. So it's, it's, it's way better. You man, my wife told me, Who's in this bacon? I say, Rhea Miller. I said, Tommy, you know what? I divorcing you, 
I marry him. I said, well, he's already married. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Kidding you not. As a matter of fact, I wish she was here, but uh, we have an event today. So she went to the band and I'm over here with you guys. But um, and she's promoting this. As a matter of fact, she's promoting this. I am, I am getting that uh, special promo code up here uh real fast ish no yeah uh ish's wife actually spoke to me on the phone and said that uh no more bacon is allowed in the house that isn't uh that isn't this bacon <laughs> so but you know that is kind of what we're going for here with this and um just drop the promo code right here in my box right underneath me right here Jump over to uh, is it, it's going to be on the Banff Cigars website, correct? Both R O C F and Both. Banff. Okay. Both. So at least people okay, can so either yeah. either direction you go, BanffCigars.com or R O C F Cigars.com. Use this promo code right right here. Yeah. yeah. B A M F R M twenty, and you will get twenty percent off a five pack of the new just released today variation of this cigar. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is this will always be a BAMP cigar. I am not starting my own cigar company. I just want to make that clear, but it is going to have a band underneath the Mm -hmm. cigar and this is what we are waiting on to officially get in. And it's going to say RMCS edition. And it's going to blend in with the BAMP band. So it'll be the secondary sub band on the cigar itself. Now, um, now Ish, how many of these were you able to produce off of that slab? 1,123 cigars. So you sent me a lot of bacon, pal. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> wow. 1,123 yeah. cigars. That's a lot of five packs, guys. Jump on. This promo code is only good until Sunday at midnight. Once that happens, it jumps back to my uh, core 15% off discount, which is RMCS15 for 15% off, but this specific code will only work for the Breakfast of Champions release, and it will only be good through Sunday, so definitely jump over to BAMPCigars.com or ROCFCigars.com and pick yourself up a five-pack of this brand new rendition of the Breakfast of Champions. Now, this was one of Ish's best-selling cigars, so that should tell you how much that he actually liked it more with the bacon that I happened to send him to actually change one of his best-selling cigars. I just got the cigar. Oh, three, four minutes ago. Look. So oh, it, it smokes so smooth. So smooth. Look, I just uh, read over here uh, Tom Perry. He said, it smells amazing and it tastes even better. He has one of them. Yep. So. Well, jump on everybody. Promo code is my name badge right here for 20% off this new release. Now, Ish, what is the cost of this cigar on your website currently? As a matter of fact, to be there with you, you catch me. You catch me on that one because I had no idea. <laughs> I had to go and look for it. Hey, I'm honest. I tell you, you never catch me in a light. So um, not, you a have problem, to go to, not a problem. Not a problem. And, real quick. and look, look for it. All right. So until until Ish figures it out, get over there now. Free. Just joking. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's still asking you for the credit card. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, everybody. It's thirty-seven fifty for a five pack. There so incredibly reasonable, twenty percent off of that. Shit, what? It's under eight bucks. Still, he could have told me it's fifty bucks. I would have paid that. 
Thirty-seven yeah. fifty for a five pack. Plus, you get twenty percent off of that cost. This is only good until uh, and- Sunday at midnight. Ish will then revert it yeah, back I would, to I would midnight. midnight for code. Uh, Because we know that Ish doesn't sleep, and you can actually call this guy at 2 a.m., and he'll answer the phone. Absolutely. Uh, He's probably up with a Winston and a glass of wine somewhere. Um, So, What are you talking about? No, I see it says add to to cart on mine. There you go. So, yeah, it it doesn't say it's, uh, it's sold out. Go to the ROCF cigars.com site no 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 they, they, they can order i say it's sold out because the other ones are gone so the new ones oh but it still will let the order happen oh yes 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 okay cool so one of the reasons why we did it this today was because ish had to sell through the uh remainder of the last inventory and then the sold out was due to the last inventory order it and you will get it, I promise. Ish we'll promises get, yes. you that as well. So, Ish, let's get into a little bit more of Bamf and ROCF product. Tell us Absolutely. what you have in store for us uh, coming up next year. Um, we know that you just p- acquired a factory in Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. You also, in my opinion, don't take cigars so serious in the traditional sense that you're willing to go outside of the realm of tradition and pick up some very obscure tobaccos. So kind of walk us through what's, what's coming up next year. Well, next year is coming many collaborations, many um, brand names that switch to my factory because it's exactly what you said. I don't take, it's not taken seriously. I think my, my job very seriously, but I'm not taking just one country alone. It is not. This worry was not just made for one country. Okay, you come to the United States, you can see Danny. Okay, has a red hair. Probably has some Irish on him. Probably uh, somebody has some German on them. Some, bro- you know. So it's, it's not just one country, one this, one that. So it's, it's, you know, like I always say, I'm from Spain. When I was in Spain, moved to the United, uh, moved to the United States 23 years back. My wife from Trinidad and Tobago. I have a Chinese dog. I have an English dog. <laughs> it's, 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 it, it, you, you, you can call me Tutti Frutti, you know, like the, the leftovers and you put in the pizza. It's like a fucking Tutti Frutti. So I will not just do the only pure puro or puro, like, like you guys call, it will be the one from Africa. It's everything from Africa, period, done. Because you know, I respect that and the sea, but I put that African in many of the blends. So why you are gonna go yes with Dominican tobacco, Nicaraguan tobacco, Mexican tobacco, Costa Rican tobacco, yari 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 yeah. The mix it makes the perfection. You know, it's, it's th- think about it. Uh, like uh, drinking uh, something, you drink. Some people prefer in the rocks. Some people just need. Some people with a little soda. It's, add to people so no one of us doing the same thing eat the same thing maybe like salty you like le- less salt i like a lot of pepper you like maybe less pepper so don't don't be just like you know in a, in a freaking a square wall and say um has to be like this like this and like that hey no i just put the best i can with the best produce from this country this country this country put it together shake it and say there you go <laughs> It's more or less how I think. So how did you how did you even get your hands on Transylvanian tobacco? I've never even considered mm-hmm. tobacco to come from Dracula's country of Transylvania. So kind of talk a little bit about how you discovered that, what cigars use that. If you think about it, in every country, obviously, country and uh, counties and states and whatever it's the, obviously for Antarctica or something like that that they cannot grow shit for a living but other than that anyone can grow tobacco anyone it will be hard to do it but remember you go to for, in, for instance you go to Dominican Republic you go to Nicaragua and you're gonna see the leaves 
this big, you know, like a three inches leaves, 24 inches leaves, you go to Ireland, you go to Transylvania, it's going to be shorter, like a 13 inches, 12 inches, whatever the case may be. So what I, I always looking for new tobacco. I don't go and buy online. I book myself a ticket and I go to the freaking farm. I smoke the tobacco. If I like it, I buy it, send it to the DR, and we make it. So that's, that's, that's how I did it. And Transylvania, you know, many people, not many people, it's only a, a couple of people that they have, you know, for Halloween, and they have the Dracula, and they have the this, and this, and this, and that, whatever. So, you know what? Let's do something, but to be original, let's do it with tobacco from what Dracula was from. Nobody had made it before. And that's, I went over there, and right now, is about, I speak with people in Instagram at night about this time with many people, you know, and the number one cigar that they have, not being our cigar, it is the, the Blood Blood, because it has a unique taste, but people never tasted it before. So it's pretty hard to have it. Luckily, you know, it, it, I know the countries, I have uh, no one or two, I have triple citizenship, so I can, I can travel a little more freely. If you want to, I can buy a little more freely from different countries. So it's, um, but but I like the mixes. I like the mix. You know, if, if you make a steak, just a steak with no salt, no pepper, no garlic, no nothing, yeah, it's a steak. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Medium rare, medium rare, uh, or whatever you want to do. You put a little salt, what happened? Oh, wow. The flavor comes. You put the <laughs> Wow. So that's what the cigar is about. You cannot just be blind about it and have just one blend that is like a that sounds like a, when you go to a, to the hospital and you go to look somebody and, and you see this. I don't like. I like to see so that's the soul, the pepper, the thing, the da da da. So that's what I like to, to mix things. I don't know why, but I love it. So how did you um, how did you even come across the idea of the Transylvania the blood of Vlad cigar? Because I was in Romania a couple of years back, and uh, I love to hike. Okay, I love to hike. So uh, most times I hate to walk but I love to hike because it's vacations. Now I can do whatever I want. If somebody told me to hike for a living, I would say, eh, eh. no, <laughs> it's vacations. I go and do it. And I saw a farm and they had tobacco. I couldn't believe that they had tobacco in Transylvania. Now it's called, it's part of Romania. I said, what the heck is that? So I went over there. I saw the whole um, a farm. They have a dry tobacco for a year prior, fermented tobacco for like a, nine ten months before blah 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 so i tried it and i was amazed how strong but smooth it is that's what i like in a cigar i like to be strong but smooth not the one that you go you ah my no i like you know smoothness and all that thing and transylvanian tobacco had it same thing that irish those two tobacco different flavors different flavor profile but they are two tobacco that they amaze me like it is not tomorrow. You know, like, what the hell? This is, you know, I guess looking for everything, <laughs> everything and anything. Yeah. So, are the, the, so the Transylvanian tobacco and the Irish tobacco you use in that, are those traditionally more so for pipe and rolly than they were for, for cigars or, were these specifically grown to be cigar tobacco? They grow uh, tobacco for cigar tobacco, but because nobody was buying it, they had chopped in pieces to make pie tobacco and to make everything else. Until this guy over here said, no, no, don't chop it, don't cut it. Oh, but the leaf is only 12 inches. I don't care. Don't worry, I will give him a Viagra or something. It will come to 18. I don't give a fuck. Give me the 12 <laughs> inches, I will get it. And I bought it. And the guy is like, Are you for real? I said, Yeah. Who the hell are you? I said, My cigar maker. Nobody. I just want to make cigars. But I, 
And man, phenomenal. Best thing I ever did. Best thing I've ever I, did. I, I do love the, the Irishman. Um, it's one of my favorites. I've had quite a bit of Irish pipe tobacco, mm-hmm. but actually getting that tobacco into a cigar and rolled, how the flavors really married together very well and provided a, a different and unique smoking experience where I expected it to ha- kind of be pipe tobacco y uh, on the palate, and it was not. And it's not. I think that that's a testament to how amazing you are at at blending to get those flavors to 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 meld together without over mm-hmm. overacting one of your sen- overacting the senses like pipe tobacco tends to do. Yeah, it's, it's, thank you, man. But but it is what I try to do always is like a, I can have the most yeah. strong strongest cigar ever. Like the African cigar, the raw blood, they're very strong. They have the percent nicotine. But what I like is when you try, uh, when you smoke it, it will be smooth. If it's not smooth, I, I, I'm not gonna pay money to smoke something that is painful. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a strong. Yeah. <laughs> it's a strong. I'm leaving my lungs out. <laughs> oh, oh, <it's> strong. <laughs> I don't want that shit. I'm sorry. I, I don't. So I want. It's strong, but it's smooth. If it makes any sense, you know, you just put like a, it can be strong and you can feel in your head like a, shit, this is going to kick me in the ass, but it's still smooth. And you keep smoking and smoking and smoking until the end. That's what I like about every single cigar, especially this one as well, is that you don't stop by the label. You take the label, ah, you stop, you don't stop. You keep going and going and going because it gets better and better and better. So mm-hmm. maybe it's how we roll the cigars a little differently. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, I would never stop looking for different countries. You know, I, I have. You want Peruvian tobacco? I have. Mexican tobacco? I have. It is good in the wrapper. The rest short for my mm, palate, for my client's palate, is not. But the wrapper is good. San Andres, for instance, is pretty good. Costa Rican tobacco is good. Eh. Well, but it has something that is good. You, you know, I, I always say like the yin yang. In all the bad things is something good. In all the good things is something bad. So don't just, you know, go ahead. Ah, it's from Mexico. It's bad. Well, one of the best rappers in the world is San Andres. Guess what? It's Mexican. Oh, Brazil. Ah, oh, what do you know? What do you know? Brazil. Well, one of the best rappers in the world is Cuba. That is Cuba and Brazil. Is one of the best rappers in the world. So you, you, you have to adventure. When you just put, like I said before, your four walls, and I'm from Dominican Republic, I'm from Nicaragua, I'm from Honduras, I'm from Machu Picchu, I, I don't care where you're from. Keep moving. Keep moving. You know, and, and you will find excellent tobacco. So um, you had just acquired a new factory in Zimbabwe. Yes, sir. Kind of, kind of touch on your plans for that. How you're looking to roll that into, forgive the pun, some additional and new blends, and where you kind of see that factory playing a big role uh, for your companies. Oh, they, they, they come in hard, man. At first, when I went to Zimbabwe, I say, um, this shop is amazing. It's perfect. Can you grow tobacco? Mostly. People say, what's that? I say, tobacco. I say, marijuana. I say, no, tobacco, tobacco, tobacco. <laughs> Cigars? What's that? A puro? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can. I say, holy shit. I say, okay, good. So we go over there. Remember, it's Africa, not just Zimbabwe, but Zimbabwe is just happened that it is the most fertile soil in the whole world. So whatever you put over there, I make some jokes over here. Uh, guys under 18 or whatever, cover your eyes. You just can go and on the soil and babies will come. So it's that fertile. Okay. It's, 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 it's super fertile. The, the thing. And, uh, the flavors are, are amazing. So are amazing. So I say, okay, let's do something over here. So I send a Cuban roller and a Dominican roller. 
Why? Because I want to, when they're under stress, you mean that right now is Dan and you, eh, Ryan, and you're doing the show together. One of you gets sick. You have to know what the other guy will say so you can say it so you can, the show can go. It makes any sense? So you have to do two people in one. So that's what I send the Cuban, they do. One person do everything, the punch and the roll. And then I send the Dominican that they do. One guy do the punch and the one do the rolling. The rolling. I mean, that was during the pandemic. It was painful. But kidding, you know, probably are one of the best rollers right now, today's day, in the whole freaking, I was in the whole world. They good because they, they were miserable they have nothing and you teach them something and teach they want to learn these people they want to learn and of course they want to make money so when you see that a roller or a bunch of make more money than the freaking president of the country yeah everybody wants to learn and it's, it's amazing so <laughs> <laughs> i said back in 1994 when i was in angola i said that um, african tobacco will be the next cuban cigars it already is. Too bad that people, you know, don't do, they, they only do the wrappers. But a cigar is not, it's not based in the wrapper. You, it's based in the filler, first of all. With no filler, it's no wrapper. With no binder, it's no wrapper. So the wrapper is the last thing in the cigar. The wrapper is just the beauty of the cigar, not the taste of the cigar. You know, it's like, a, oh, I want this, say, I don't know, an F-150. Oh, I want a red. I want green. Well, so many chassis, so many Indian, you know? So that's how you go. Then the color is secondary. I don't care if it's black or it's white or it's green. I would like to be, I don't care, uh, charcoal. I would like it, but it's the same color. I don't know if it's making sense or no. So it's, it's you know, it, it is like a, like a, people always say. Did, did you buy a, did, did you also, up, are you also operating a farm there in Zimbabwe as well for growing or are you contracting that out? No, that, that one, we got it. The one in Zimbabwe, we got it. And it's, it's, it's huge. We're cheap. I said, let's, let's go and do it. But yeah, we, we have, uh, and we sent tons, tons of tobacco to, uh, because what happened, Africa and Dominican Republic, they collaborate. So you don't have to pay taxes, export taxes or import taxes. So when you pay over here, it goes over there, that's it. Obviously, you have to pay whatever it costs to transport, but no nothing else. So, so far, so good. So Hey, Ish, real quick, I just got a text uh, from somebody watching the show that the promo code is not operational on the site. Oh, it is. They type it right, P-A-M-F, and then... Uh, um, RM20. It is a person. I tried twice already. Okay. Hey, you know, oh, hey, Robert, it has to be all capital letters, though. No? Capital letters. Okay. All capital I'm going to try it right now. Robert asked a good question there. Is, is there any tobacco that we don't really hear about that you are trying to bring into cigars other than the ones you already have currently have out? Well, I want to tell you one, and people will hear me be because of this, which I don't care, but it's amazing tobacco, and it's China. China produces a lot of good tobacco, but because Chinese, they don't buy, they want to buy the Cuban. Chinese tobacco is amazing flavors, everything. Come on now. They can do fucking rice. They can do potatoes. They can do this. Of course they can do fucking tobacco. Of course they can. But everybody will buy it. We'll put it on it, but they will not tell you what it is. But Chinese tobacco is, is very good. And I, I, I bring tons of tobacco. For I, I've but, seen that with the Chinese, especially with like French wines. They're importing in the water and the soil from France to grow French wine in China. Yeah. Same thing with American wheat, bringing in American wheat with American water and American soil in to grow. So it's not surprising that even with what resources China has, that they'd also probably be looking at wanting to bring in soil from Nicaragua and the Dominican so they can also compete on that that level well, with cigars. Right now, Dan, to be honest with you, right now, you go to Esteli, Nicaragua. You will think that you're in China. 
So what the fuck is going on? You see more Chinese than people from Nicaragua. The DR is start to happen again. The DR Chinese people are buying factories, already build factories. They will, they are buying them. Because remember, um, China bought the part of Spain, the Havana's SA, that was the Cuban tobacco. It's not enough just for them. So they buy in from Nicaragua, from the Dominican Republic, from many other countries, but they will never tell you that. But it is, it's how it is because it's more demand that offer you can offer just five but the demand is a thousand so you have to do something else and that, that's what happened so china is is a great country no country politics but nice place to be over there or whatever but they 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 fucking things up i tell you that much with the tobacco <laughs> and, hey, and this hey ish can you send your computer guy a quick text i just tried it in both uppercase and lowercase and it's not going through we'll get this fixed and we'll get this taken care of uh I give my, ish two seconds let me do it myself let me do it myself let me put my cheaters <clears throat> stay right there probably you can see so what me. you're doing <clears throat> what, what you're doing that again everybody we are launching the brand new updated variation of the breakfast with champ breakfast of champions i am going to since ish is frozen while he's doing that because he's not on screen i'm going to remove him so we're smoking tonight the breakfast of champions rmcs edition which essentially uh what makes it the rmcs edition is that it uses my tobacco or my tobacco my <laughs> really? bacon grease on his tobacco instead of just a regular store-bought bacon um, that he was originally using. And I do make my own homemade bacon, and I do have several people here in the uh, audience tonight have uh, bought slabs, and I've sent slabs out. If you're remotely interested, feel free to reach out to me. I throw you on the list. Um, there is a bit of a wait list as I am only one person, but if it's something you're interested in, uh, we'll definitely uh, reach out to me and I'll shoot you all the information. And if you agree to it, great. I'll throw you on the wait list and we'll, we'll send over a slab for you. So again, kind of how this came about was he was smoking a cigar and hand roll and uh, hand flipping bacon and the cigar absorbed the bacon and the bacon grease into it. And he noticed that he was getting um, uh, Bruce. Bruce, you're amazing. Bruce uh, Bruce Stark just ordered some as well. So uh, they're definitely going to be flying off fast. But again, the whole thing came about as really kind of an accident. And then uh, sent him over a slab for his 50th birthday as a thank you for being a good friend and who doesn't love bacon in the mail that just shows up at your door and uh asked him really kindly uh if he would be willing to just for shits and giggles roll it with mine and he decided that it was better uh than what he was originally using because of again store-bought bacon versus homemade and the way i do my cure and the way i do my cook um, it really is just that much better quality of bacon that kind of comes into play. So we're going to bring Ish back in here. Robert Robert thought there was a wall dividing us that I wasn't in here live. Look, so Robert here, look, I'm, I'm, tu I'm touching him. <laughs> I didn't even catch him. He <laughs> He's like, wow, I'm slow. I just realized that we were together. He thought we were divided by... Oh, because uh, of the crack in the corner. <laughs> I went back because he said with the big commerce, I went back and it's working. So I, I don't get why it's not working to you guys. Uh, well, Bruce just ordered some at the 3750 mark. He said it was just too good of a deal, regardless <laughs> of not having the 20% off. But um, let me try here again. Um, so I using my laptop to talk with you guys, so I went over there when you I was frozen or whatever, and he says it's working, and he said it's good. So uh, me have to, you know, to restart it or whatever. I don't, I don't know, but to me it's working. I haven't even. Yes, I am over twenty-one. So 
kind of um, <laughs> there you go. I want to get your your take on this as a cigar brand owner. Um, we have the time of year is a special time of year for a lot of cigar smokers yes. because list after list after list of top 20, top 100, top 1,000, top million cigars for the year that everybody smoked comes out right now. What is yep. your opinion on top 10, top 25, top 5,000, whatever any top list somebody wants to make? What is your take on top top list to me, to me, I believe that that list is made, and obviously it's not us making the list. It's going to be the magazines making the list or whatever they are making the list or whatever. So how this can be number one, number two, number three? Well, it's easy. Cigar industry is very, very simple. You pay more, you get more fucking respect. Simple as like that. Sorry, if, pardon for my friends. I say fucking, and I will say it again. But what happened is that the so what happened is that the you know all depends. If the guy making the list only smokes three cigars, he has only three cigars to choose. But we cigar smoker like us, and right now with a vintage Winston 2024, by the way, <laughs> because I, I finished my bacon already. Was so good. So what happened? What happened is that they oh, they only have three cigars. They had to choose. Nesca, stop it! Stop it! So you have to choose between three. But a real smoker that they smoke, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 different brands, it's almost impossible to tell you which one is the best. It's very sure, for sure, it's easy to say which one you dislike the most, but not which one you like the most. So, depends on what? The day, your feelings, this, that, you know, it's, it's, like, a, it's, it's like food, you know? To the, Jesus, yes, yes. You know what? Let me open the dog. Oh, you know it's gonna be wolf, wolf. No wolf, worries, wolf. no worries. So, uh, <laughs> if if that code for some reason is not working for you, you're gonna want to go to R O C F Cigars dot com and then search for Breakfast of Champions. If that code for some reason is not working for you. Uh, I have verified that my other one for 15% off is RMCS15. You can use either or one of, uh, you can only use one. So if one's not happens to be working for you, try RMCS15. That one is a standing code. Um, and you can, while you're there, if you're going to use RMCS15 for 15% off, feel free to also throw in some additional cigars into your uh, uh, checkout box as well because RMCS 15 works for the entire website. Yes, so, it does. Um, so definitely you can use RMCS 15 and get 15% off an entire order or use Banff RM 20 for only the uh, uh, breakfast right champions. Now. You'll go broke on his website. I'll just tell you that right now. So <laughs> I've spent I I have spent many much more than my my uh, biweekly uh, cigar allowance on Ish's website. You must so, like them though. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, they're very good. I can't complain. Like I can't complain. No there, there's no complaints. It's just you know, it's like ooh, I forgot last time I was going to get this. Well, all right, I'll go ahead and add that onto the cart. So, Ish, I want to touch on these lists a little bit more with you because it's just that time of year. What is your opinion? Do you think these lists should be cigars only released that year? Is it fair that a cigar that's been around for 15 years that was just rolled this year, but the actual brand or line has been around for a decade or more? Do you think that is a true, genuine cigar of the year? Oh, well, it is. It's, it can be yes or no. Okay. For instance, cigar of the year. Again, depends your palate, depends what you want, depends yeah, what it is. In, in the cigar industry, it's something called, you know, uh, no, it's nothing called. I just made this out. But it's something that is subliminal messages. 
I can tell you that this cigar for me is the best. And because Ishmael Oliver, who was for Factory, is the best, the followers will see is the best. Even if they never smoke the cigar in their lives, they will see is the best. So the influence in the cigar, it takes a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. You know, in the percentage to which one is better, which one is worse, or whatever, or which one you like, which one you dislike. Whatever, because it's, it's not such thin as a bad cigar, honestly. All the cigars come from the same plant. It's not the plant's problem. It's the buncher and the roller, and of course, the blender. You can have the best ingredients in the world. If you put it around, you want to vomit. That's not the plan's fault. The plan is the same, it's the same thing from my cigars, that this guy's cigar, that these cigars, all those cigars, is who put it together. You don't know how to put so it then, So ahead. then let me ask you this. Why do you think that without mentioning any specific names of lists, mm -hmm. um, or at least I won't anyways, you're more than welcome to, why well, do you think it's like the same... 8, 10, 15 brands every single year, just one brand might have the same cigar from five years ago that made number one is now number eight. Because but now number crazy. one is just a different Vitola. That's the only yeah. difference. There, there, the, there's the no same, originality in it. In the same cigar, different band on it, same manufacturer or whatever. What happened is that people buy... It's the same thing. Okay, I put cigars like a car or woman's. You see, nice freaking car. Oh my god, that car! Oh, oh my, look the car, Baba. Asshole! It has no fucking engine. That car it cannot drive, but it looks good outside. Same thing happened with cigars. <laughs> people, people buy just yes, the brand names, and that's it. You go where I come, where I come from, Spain, and nobody will smoke my cigars or no one's cigars. It will be farias made and done in Spain, and that's all they will smoke. You're talking a population of 52 million people, and they only will smoke that. No new wars, uh, of course, Cubans, because because Spain all Cuban, uh, I want to say, for many, many, many years. But uh, it's, it's mostly is, you know, if you buy a cigar that it costs you $3, you will go with a cigar like, a, like this, you know, like a head hiding and, and smoking because you feel bad that somebody's going to tell you what you're doing with that, but it's what you like. So buy the $3 cigar. Now, when you buy a $50 cigar, even if it's literally garbage, you have to see it's good because in your mind, you have to compensate the $50 that you spend with the garbage that you're smoking. So you wouldn't say never, oh, it's a bad cigar because you spend the money. So that's what happened in the cigar industry. They know I say based that. on the leaves. They I said that about 30, 40, 50 dollar cigars ago. It's bad. I don't yeah, know. but you're brutally honest. And a lot of people uh I forgot who I was actually who, who I was talking to that said this, but we were talking about uh the fifteen hundred dollar, for instance, the fifteen hundred dollar Gurkha cigar that they make. Like it's ridiculous that it's that price, but people will buy it. Because they will buy and say that I'm smoking a fifteen hundred dollar cigar, but the guy looked at again. It bothers me. I can't remember who I was talking with, but they said the real question is: Did they like it in reality, or did they no. like it because of how much they spent on it? Absolutely. You know, it's easy for us to go to a hotel and say, "Man, I spent two hundred dollars tonight, or, or last night, or whenever." And the whole thing it was garbage. It was not clean. It was not. We don't care about that. Oh, it's a place to sleep. Now if you spend two hundred dollars in a cigar, and it's not to your taste. It's not good. Or literally it's freaking garbage. You will never see it's garbage because you spend two hundred dollars a cigar. But so you lie to yourself. I, I you like people do. I, I I think people lie to themselves. I mean, all day long. If I, if I, hey, look, if I spend 50 bucks on a stick, I'm expecting it to be one of the best cigars I've ever had. That's Absolutely. a lot of money to spend on a cigar. And if it's not, I'm going to tell everybody it's not worth 50 bucks. This is a, this is a $10 stick masquerading as a $50 stick. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is. I lie to myself it, about friends. my weight. That's the only thing I lie to myself about is my weight well, and my figure. 
I know your girlish <laughs> figure. I, 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 I know how much you weight, so it's okay. No, no worry. You, you can <laughs> like. <laughs> so then, so then, let me let me ask you this: very prominent um, top twenty-five list. The number one was released today, and it was a Cuban cigar. Yeah, do you think Cuban. that's a fair? Well, yes, at that point, because most Americans, that's so out of reach. You know what happened? Exactly. Is remember, America is just one country, United States. We are what two hundred something countries around the world. China or Spain? Put in Spain. We only like it, like I said before, fifty-two million people. We are six times less people than the United States, but we smoke about one hundred fifty times more than all the United States together. So their opinion matters because they smoke more and blah, 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 blah. Now, I will put the Cuban cigar as the number one. Absolutely not. Not to this day. No. No, because the soil is, is already burned. It's, 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 it's the nutrients, the, the, everything is it's overdone. <clears throat> Man, put it this way. Uh, Cuba <clears throat> is buying tobacco from Indonesia. Nicaragua, Honduras, Dominican Republic, Peru, Italy, many other places because they cannot produce cigar. So when you give me this cigar and you tell me it's a pure Cuban, blah, 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 well, uh, well, I will tell you it's not, but go for it. So maybe it was the cigar of the year because it was not 100% Cuban. Put it that way. So the, well, but, but again, I want, I want to know how they actually got a Cuban that smoked perfectly. How many did they, they have to, test? to get that to get one? Go, yeah, this is great. After we went through uh, 19 of the 20 in the box, we had one and, and 50 lights. <laughs> yeah. so it's, we had 36 touch ups on this, but so it all depends. So, you want to see, you want to see right now, Raya Miller and Bam Cigars, myself, Ismail Oliver, be number one this year is easy, pay 50,000 dollars. Go to the freaking uh, magazine and say we number one, and I guarantee you we will be number one. Well, hey, but if you want to pay it like all these other publications like CA and Half Wheel, if you want to pay me ish, uh, I'll make you number one on my list. There you go. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, you know, it's, I'll I'll take I'll take seventy five k and I'll make you number one for the next five years running. Uh, one, two, and three. But uh, AJ, really quick, if you're having a hard time with the code, I apologize. Uh, Ish will kind of make sure and rework that a little bit. Use mine for at least, it's only a $2 difference. Uh, RMCS15 for 15% off. That one is guaranteed to work. Um, so don't worry about it. Like I said, it's a buck $52 difference. It's not a big deal. But, but, but this one it's working though. I don't know what. I don't know. Maybe, it's I couldn't, I couldn't it to, get it to. I, I couldn't get, get it, it to go. Work. I wouldn't work on either website. I could. It not a problem. Is you can take care of that uh, yeah. after the show. So, and, so guys, uh, and it it have, whoever is online and you want to buy it after the show, give me ten minutes. I will check it out because it, it's in. It's on. So probably I had to do you know a step or something that I forgot. It might be. I don't know. But um, but it will be on. For sure. Awesome. So uh, Cigar Jokester got it to work on his end. So maybe it's not working on the mobile version. Maybe it's working no, no, on no, the no. computer it's working only. In, again, it, it has to be capital letters, and it has to be no B-A-F-M, you know, B-A-M-F, no, R-C, or R-M, excuse me, R-M-20. Because people they go by and oh my god, no, it, it is working. It is working. I so it uh, I just tried weird, it works for me in the coupon section. Okay, awesome. It works. Uh, yeah. So great. You're 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 getting it done. Absolutely fantastic. Try every section, mm -hmm. it'll go. Uh, you can't worry about your weight when you're involved with bacon. Thank you so much, Bruce. And Bruce actually has a uh, slab of bacon. And Danny, if you'll be so kind, uh, in my refrigerator on the bottom shelf, grab what's in there. I want to show everybody. Um, 
And uh, so, this one? Uh, yeah, on the bottom shelf. Holy yes, uh, Mickey, we're doing a one down low. <laughs> we're using, we're, we have a big announcement of a re, uh, new rendition of the Breakfast of Champions using my homemade maple brown sugar uh time bacon recipe that i sent over to ish who liked it so much that he chirped in my ear enough and got me to agree to go in on this with him bruce this is yours big guy all right so we actually have some bacon going in right hey, bruce, now for sorry guys. sorry bruce it's not yours it's, it's mine I have to be <laughs> what the fuck really I need you. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody's interested in getting a five pack and a and a slab of bacon and you want don't mind being on a wait list for a little bit, uh feel free to reach out to me. Uh it, anybody that has had it will tell you it is absolutely worth it. Uh and if you know who Fred Rui is, he is a bacon connoisseur and has put my bacon in his top five all-time bacon that he has ever had. Um, so, but Ish, why don't you think there's more of a boutique top list? Like, it's always legacy brands. Because nobody Aww. pays attention to my list. It, it's, pretty, it's, <laughs> it's pretty simple. It's money. Boutique cigars, they have to spend all the money they have to make the cigars. So you spend the whole money that you have to make cigars. It's very little money to travel. The big legacy cigars, they've been made for 50, 80, 100, 150 years or more. So they already had the money. The only thing that they have to do is whatever. Put it this way. You go to the, used to be IPCPR, now it's called the PCA. The big, the big guys and big brands, they go there for the pictures. It's already sold. Everything that they are not going to sign new contracts is already sold beforehand. Now we got the, the small guys, boutiques or whatever, and it takes forever to do it because people are always thinking the same thing. You know, cigars are more, almost like a restaurants, like a pubs, like a whatever. It's always the one that is, you know, the famous one to go, the, the, the place to go, whatever. And if you don't change your mind, I don't care if you open one that is way better, three yards away, so it's right here, wall to wall, they would not go over there because they're used to this one because they know them by the name. How you doing, Miss Cooper? How you doing, Mr. Hopper? How you, you know, that's what people like. And it's as simple as that. So you have to make a big statement and put a very good cigar in order to uh, how you call it? perturb the mind of the people that are only smoking this cigar, this cigar, and this cigar. If you don't have something good, don't even go to it because you will lose. Simple as that. So it's just so everyone. then do you do you think that it's a so then essentially what you're saying is top lists from big list producers or makers are more or less pay to play go to the Absolutely. highest person that spends the most. It's Absolutely. not actually a top, it's not a true no, it's great not. list. It's not. Okay. It's, it's like a, you imagine that you go to Marvel and you um, you go to court and you have <clears throat> like a, I, I did the whole fucking with jury duty. Okay. I have your summons. I had to go boom to court. It's two of us that we don't know this guy or the other guy. What the fuck do we know about these two guys? It's another thousand people that they know them and they choose us to say if the guy is going to be free or is going to be in jail. That's not justice. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> you know? So you have to be honest and say, okay, I like this cigar. I don't care if it's like, again, let's go to the name, Gurkha or it's whatever, mine, BAMF. Why you love this cigar? Because I feel this, this, this. Now you're with one guy that only smokes, say, X brand, whatever. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot see that the, this cigar are good because I like X brand. Well, many people are watching or listening to me. 
listen to me. That's fucking bullshit. Be honest. Be honest. Say, it's good, it's bad, I like it, I don't. And that's how the war's supposed to work, you know? But it doesn't. It doesn't, but it, it's how it's supposed to work. So I guess. somebody somebody asked for a story. Oh, you got to go back. You passed it. Back down. Did I? Yeah. Uh, ish. Tell yeah. the story about the unbanded cigars that you did with a bunch of people. Well, I I can show you the <laughs> the cigar. Uh, what happened? If it's what I think it was, it was uh, is this um, page called uh, hot garbage cigars? So they just make this thing as a joke. It's nothing professional. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's just friends. And they do challenge, you know, who can smoke three cigars at a time, which is a sacrilege. But they say that the worst three cigars that you ever have, put like a dot tape or whatever, smoke it until you can and whatever. So they were looking for a challenge. And uh, I said, okay, you want a big cigar? So I put my thing like this. I put my hands and I roll. At the time, it was a 270, 270 ring gauge by 17. <laughs> It became a 270 by 24. <laughs> and it's 10 people. Wow. Crazy enough, of course, I told them you guys must to sign the waiver. It's a lot of nicotine. I don't want somebody going like, uh, 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 cut your wrist or whatever. Uh, you sign the fucking waiver. And uh, that's what I did. And as a matter of fact, let me go and get it. You guys know the more, right? My 110 by 12. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put it close to that one. And you will see what these guys are talking about. Give me a second. <laughs> and, and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna have free fill. Why not? <laughs> While he's doing that, um, everybody, I'm gonna give it over to Danny here really quick because he actually does put out an honest list, in my opinion, and it is a list of cigars that he has paid for, and it is a list of cigars that he personally has smoked. So, Danny. Plug that for everybody that's watching. If you're looking for a boutique list, honestly, look no further than 505 Cigar Review. Well, yeah. So you can expect right after Christmas, my uh, my uh, top 10 list is going to drop. And it it is entirely boutique, small batch, limited run, single run smokes that are out there. Some that you can still go out and buy today. Some that you can't, some you can't get anymore. But I personally smoked them. I took the time to, to basically smoke, take the notes, and 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 go through the entire list because I I don't like these top ten lists where it's I don't care that they say well well the one we smoked was from the 2017 batch and this one's from the 2019 batch completely different. It's the same cigar or the. The Vitola was well, a different Vitola size. Well, let's be honest. There's not you're not getting much of a difference in taste within the Vitola sizes that you got to keep going. Like this year, what did we see in the top twenty five? They were very Churchill heavy, and it just seems like every year they change the Vitola size that they get heavy on. And it, you know, last year it was Toros they were heavy on. This year it's Churchills. Next year it'll be Robustos, and. You know, I don't think it's an honest list because a lot of people out there, yeah, we've all smoked those cigars. They're good cigars. But I think we can all agree that the quality of cigars that we have all smoked, especially a lot of the people who I see in this chat, there we we tend to be boutique heavy and geared towards the boutique because we're getting a better quality smoke, better tobacco, better blending out of it. And it's not ma it's not overly mass produced. And I think that that's the biggest thing there is that the con the consistencies I get with something that Ish puts out is far better than something that I get from Fuente or one of the bigger brands out there where it's mass produced. I have issues. I have problems with it. You know, I, I tend to you tend to get lesser problems because there's a better quality, better focus on quality control than what you get with the bigger brands. And I talked about that, that. That you know, when I did the eye, when I smoked the eye of the shark, and it was completely packed and fell apart on me, and I sent a picture over to Fuente. I didn't want anything from Fuente. I just wanted to know that a cigar they consider to be the staple of their of their portfolio 
was unenjoyable and unsmokable. And I don't think that's acceptable for a cigar that's $28. No, he's not. No, I, and, and, and you know, I, I think a, a great example would be kind of the reason why people watch – some people prefer college sports over pro sports. They think there's more heart in the college sports because they're not getting paid the big money they're playing it because they truly, truly want to play not it. anymore. <laughs> and the boutique line of cigars, though, is very similar. They're smaller. They're not selling as many. They're playing in the cigar arena because they truly want to be there. And so what would you tell somebody if they, if they told you, Oh, I only smoke top lists, cigars on top lists. How would you change somebody's mind? ish? Well, most of the time you cannot, but you can do say, Oh, you want to smoke that? I just have one. Take the band out the ring. I have the one that you like it. And he's going to smoke and say, Holy shit. It's good. It's good. Well, that's what it was. And when you said what it was, say, oh, my God. So you had to treat people to smoke cigars that they think. Well, man, it's easy. It's easy. I did it in, in a life with the UK. I did it in life with China. I did it with a life in France, Spain, Italy, and Luxembourg. I put one of my cigars, the BTCs, better than Cuban, with a, a Monte Cristo number two. It's the same Vitola. No Vitola. Vitola is Vitola as a matter of fact is not the size, is is the is the band. But in the United States, it's good to say Vitola is the size. So the same ring gauge, the same length, everything, which is a 52 by six and one eighth. That's what um Cubans are very well known for. It's not 52 by six, it's 52 by six and one eighth. That's how you can know if it's or it's not. Okay, so I put my cigars and I swap the things. They think that it was the best cigar ever. I say, well, you're smoking my cigar. You're not smoking the one that is number two. How come, blah, blah, you lied to me? I say, no, no, no. You told me your honest opinion and you say that it was the best cigar. The best Monte Cristo you ever smoked. Well, that's my cigar. Oh, my God, blah, 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 blah. You're a liar. No, no, no. I know a liar. You a liar. I know a liar. You are. <laughs> I give you the cigars, swap the bands, and you say that the BTC was eh, okay, cigar, and the Monte Cristo was amazing. The Monte Cristo was the BTC, and the BTC was the Monte Cristo. And you choose my cigar before that cigar. How come? Oh, you tricked me. I didn't trick you. You no, just look at because that's what that's how Cuban guy always acts. So Cuban guy, if it's not a Cuban, it's not a real cigar. Yep. But they will con they will completely contradict themselves all the time with it. Oh, if it's not Cuban, it's not a cigar. Well, you know, the Padron 64 Anniversario, that's a good cigar, I mean, for a non-Cuban. I'm like, no, it's a fantastic cigar, it's and you're stupid, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so did, you get that, did you get that cigar? Say that again? Did you go and grab that cigar? Absolutely. So you guys know the morgue. That's the morgue. You know oh, what? Yeah. Let me gonna, let me take the screen. I don't know. That's the morgue, which is big. Okay, that's the muffler. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at so, that thing. So this looks like a Winston. Like a Winston. Okay. Look at this thing. It looks like a blue whale dong right there. <laughs> so that's a cigar. Wow. You can, you can, <laughs> baseball bat. <laughs> part of me really wants to smoke that. I don't, a part of me thinks we should break it up like a sub sandwich and share it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of cigar there. I think part people, of me really wants to smoke that. It's going to be 10 people, including this dumbass, smoking this cigar on a Zoom. And it's going to be everybody uh, involved. As a matter of fact, you guys can do the, you know, the, the, the media or whatever. About 10 fucking retards smoking this cigar. Because that's all we are. 10 retards. This is 8 to 10 hours cigar. 
So yeah, so, we're doing yeah. It. and you need a gallon of water with that just to just to keep from getting dehydrated. Good God, yo, Bruce well, is over there. Well. I would smoke it. So Ish, what is the if you were to sell a cigar like that? Because your Moab is uh, or your Moac is how much? Forty five, fifty bucks. Yeah. What this, would this, something like that cost? This cigar it will cost between one fifty to one seventy five. Yes, with me not making money. We have 72 cigars inside this cigar. So you think about it. You, think about it, you know. I, I, you know, I expect that. I expected that Adam and Robert wow. were the dummies who were going to be part of that. <laughs> and when is that happening? Uh, I have to ship tomorrow. Um, I ship three of them, four, four of them. So I have six. What do you want? Mm -hmm. Another six. I will see tomorrow, but it will be. I say, listen, guys. I want to survive 2022. They're doing 2023, <laughs> so it will be probably, you know, beginning of January or something like that. Nice, Bruce. Uh, Bruce makes a comment that honestly is fitting. Great cigar for January 1st. Start watching football at 10 a.m. and watch it through 8 p.m. <laughs> and you got the same cigar. The whole uh, time through. As a matter of fact, I always say to these guys, if you want to smoke in a, a Christmas Eve, it will last you until New Year's. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I put, of course, you see, it has a wrapper, like a surround wrap, because I'm not going to make a mold to do 10 cigars. I, I will not spend <laughs> two bucks, you know? So, I made that a cigar. Is ridiculous. Look this fucking thing, man. I know. That's like the day that's like uh the day after you eat a bunch of carbs and then you have to go to Taco Bell. <laughs> I'll tell you something. It's <laughs> people kidding you not that they will have a print to light the cigar. You have to put a cigar. My arm is right here. So I'm good. But if you leave a short, it's not fucking way you fucking light the cigar. You have to put, you know. A torch or something on over there, and <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think that's a good. That's actually a good point, Bruce. I don't. I you as you know my humidor. I've got the big fifteen hundred yeah. count uh, from New Air. I don't know that that would fit in my humidor. Man, that would fit in my Tupper door. It's twenty four inches. Yeah. That would just I fit in. Like that, would, that would give me a couple inches. You'd have to put it horizontally. Have to put it horizontally, yeah. Yeah. But that would fit in my no, top no. door. Probably you have Easy. to put diagonal. Probably. No, I'm 28 across. So I thought you were 27 for that. So that's 24. So I would have a few inches on either side of it. Everyone always likes that few extra inches. And that's what I have. <laughs> 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 okay, 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 okay. So, so, ish. I want to bring up really quickly. Uh, sure. Is the commish going to be actually a cigar? It's, it will be. It will be. The commission will be a cigar. But um, they went to a Nicaragua um, about a few months ago and they doing a blend with them, but yeah, it will be a commission, it will be a cigar. Yeah. Okay, we'll get into that one a little bit more as the time gets closer, because that's going to be a cigar you're going to want to buy for your wife. Um, it's going to be a, it's going to be something <laughs> very, very interesting on the roll technique of it. But, Ish, are we allowed to talk about you and the legend? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. It's already okay. signed up. Yes, you can. As a matter of fact, I you will, will let you. You will be the first one you, in that. But I am going to announce it just like this. Ish is doing a cigar with a rock legend, Bob Dylan. He is doing a cigar with sure. him for multiple different variations. One of those will be a bourbon or whiskey infused off of Dylan stuff. And then, Ish, I will let you further explain. So is this a cigar we're not going to be able to understand? <laughs> well, well, we're talking about Dylan, man. We're not talking about the, how is the, the, the guy. 
Okay, he's Dylan. So no, so what happened is um, in Jupiter, which is about 35 minutes from my house, okay, 30, 35, depending on traffic, 40 minutes. My wife was over there in dental uh, place. And um, she won as a rep to this guy that used to have a cigar lounge over there, but he, he was no longer over there. So just by luck, I guess, she asked to the guys do a renovation in a, it's called the four, the four roads, like in the, the, the road that you drive and it's four roads. And uh, what you want is more cigar. My dog is like this looking to the fucking muffler. No, 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 you cannot eat that. It's not a toy, it's a fucking cigar. So, <laughs> but, but she's, man, I, I wish I can show you, but no, no, yeah, let's, let's see. Uh, no. But anyways, so what happened uh, is this guy uh, want to be part of the cigar mm -hmm. place. And the guy say, no, 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 no. What he did, he bought the whole building. He bought the whole building. He's doing the four roads restaurant. And my wife was over there and said, ah, you know what? Let's, let's ask these guys. So she asked and said, well, the cigar guy is gone, but we don't use cigars. We don't have a lounge, as a matter of fact. It's gonna call, it's gonna be called the Heaven Doors. Ah, okay. She told me I said, Heaven Doors. I see knocking in the Heaven Doors. I said, that's Bob Dylan. I said, what the fuck is going on? So um, they call me about two weeks later to go over there, so the cigars or whatever. So this place it will be only selling bump cigars. Or ROCF factory cigars. So Banff is part of the ROCF, K9, Don Oliver, and many other brands that I do. And they said, hey, what about if you do a cigar for us? I say, I I can. For who? I say, come, come. So I go over there. They open the, the lounge. And it's all bourbon. And I start to see guitars, 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 guitars. And Bob Dylan pizza say, and I looked to the name. I said, Heaven's Doors. I said, what happens? Yeah, it's Bob Dylan's lounge. So, and then uh, I talk about him. I don't forget about you. I talk about him, uh, about you, two months ago. And I was scared because he is all about peace. And you are military and police. So maybe it will not match. And Bob Dylan wanted to say, listen, if it was not for the military and the police, it would not be peace. I want this guy and his guys only in all my lounges and he's making my cigar. So there you go. So we're making all body line cigars and all the lounges around the world because it's not just the United States, it's around the planet. So now yes, that's gonna be that's gonna be a Bob Dylan branded cigar, as in you're making essentially his own brand for him. Yeah. It's not gonna be a spin-off. Of ROCF or BAM, correct? He want to be Banff and Bob Dylan. Okay, so it's going to be a, a collaboration. It's not like you're making his cigars. It's going to be a Banff uh, Dylan collaboration. But, but the only thing, I say, okay, so we pay 50 50 and say, no, I pay 100%. I pay 100% of the cigars, no problem. And when I sell, I will send you the 50% of what I make. I said, what? I said, yeah, I do that. I pay for the cigars, the import, everything, the labels, everything, and I sell the cigar. And if I sell a thousand cigars, 50% is for you, 50% is for me. I said, holy fucking shit. So <laughs> she's a, it's a guy down to fucking earth, for sure. I was like, well, that never happens. <laughs> you know, most people want like a the royalty things or whatever you have to pay them to make a cigar. No, he paid for the whole cigars. Wow. Everything. Yeah. Wow. So what is ETA for the public to be able now? Is this gonna be uh let me let me ask it a little bit differently. Let me back sure. up. Is this going to be a lounge only cigar, meaning you have to go to the lounge to get it, or is no. this going to be on your site as well? No, it's going to be my site, and it's going to be in about 
I believe a little over 500 uh, uh, brick and mortars around the United States Whoa. to start with. Whoa. And it will be and it will be called Heaven's Doors. So but that's a big deal. Yeah, yes, it because is. this is this is not just a lounge cigar or a house no. brand for Dylan. This is no. a nationwide release for yes. Dylan Bamf collaboration. That is absolutely fantastic. And everybody, I don't know how easy it's gonna be for Ish to pull it off. But he has guaranteed me, Bob Dylan. I, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I don't know how easy it is going to be to pull off, but we're going to try to get Bob Dylan and Ish on the show yeah. with his manager uh, to talk about the cigar when it goes live for actual purchase. Absolutely. Um, and we're going to tell you a little bit more. Supposed to be open on uh, last month, November 15, but building departments and the weather and this and this and that. As always, fuck things up. So probably it will be. Uh, they told me the middle of January. Just call it the end of January. But it will be over there. It will be him. It will be me. We playing as a matter of fact. We playing some guitar. We will smoking some cigars. So it's it's, it's it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. Now I don't play guitar, but I'll certainly watch Dylan play guitar. Um, so. It, what is the, what does oh, yeah. a collaboration like this mean for you? Like, does it, obviously you're you're well known inside of the boutique world, but yes. does this are did, do you feel like this could jump you into a little bit bigger audience? I believe so because when he picked me, how many factories are in the world? How many brands? How many whatever? And he was the one chooses me. I, I didn't go and knock in his door, heaven's door, and say, hey, do you want to do this? No. He say it. I say, uh, are you sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's do it. And I went, yes, in my lounge, he said, it's going to be bum cigars, my cigars that you will make for me, and that's it, nothing else. I said, why? And he won't explain, you know, you know. I'm all about fucking peace, but would know you would know you guys over there being you know, in the in the front, it would not be peace. So I like your mentality, I like how you are. Let's do it. And we're doing it. And I'm like a fuck. It's like a it's a little too much to you know to compute at once because remember this guy is what 81, 83 years old already. Mm -hmm. But he has money. He he sold his records. These these these. He has yeah, money. Yeah, like three to five hundred million. He just recently this year sold his whole entire catalog catalog of songs. Yeah, and and he just over all he just look at us. No, me at the factory. At us. Why? I say, man, you have principles. You never lie, but don't think that I know watching, don't think I don't look in, I see, blah, blah, how things are done, and you are going to be the guy. And he's done. I said, fuck. This is like, a, you, you cannot imagine, you know, it, it's, it's tons of stress because it has to be perfect, it has to be this, it has to be that. But um, Adi, you know, he has probably about 100 plus lounges around the United States alone. I didn't know that. In fact, wow. I didn't know that he has Heaven's Door whiskey or bourbon. I didn't know. No fucking clue. At all. Nothing. And yeah, I, said, I didn't well, know that Dylan was doing that. Yeah, I didn't know neither. And uh, pr probably I don't drink <laughs> no bourbon, no whiskey. <laughs> yes, why? But um, he said, yeah, I want three cigars. The bourbon infused, not fused, uh, flavor. The double barrel whiskey, and I want our cigars with a heaven sword for everyone. I said, Okay. I said, Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. Let's do it. I said, Okay, perfect. So there you go. Now, I want to, uh, I, I myself, my granddad was um, 
uh, a, a pipe smoker. And and Rob asks a question that that I am curious about. I I want to get into pipes. I don't have a pipe. I have several of my granddad's old pipes, but they haven't been cleaned in shit since he probably bought them uh, <laughs> the way they probably should have been. So I don't want to necessarily smoke. And I used to smoke pipes in his house when I was like 12. It was the first time I ever threw up from tobacco. Uh, I smoked his pipe and he had unfiltered pipes and I turned green. It was like 12 o'clock at night. I'm smoking it in the house because he smoked in the house. So there was no way anyone was going to tell that I smoked in the house. And I, it was, I was throwing up like five minutes later. Um, I don't know what I did. I swallowed it. I inhaled it either way. But I've smoked pipe a lot since then. And as I got older, my granddad would give me one of his to smoke. Is there a future for BAM for ROCF tobacco pipe style, pipe tobacco? It is. As a matter of fact, uh, I've been doing pipe tobacco for many different brand names, including the UK, Malaysia, uh, and many other countries. And yes, two weeks ago, I said, hey, send me some of the pipe tobacco that we make. So they sent me. And the only one smoking it was Adam Wolf so far, but I have it already in the house. So I don't price it because I had no, to be honest, and I know this as it can be, I had no fucking clue how much pipe tobacco costs. <laughs> so I didn't put it for that on, on the on the list, but I have a pipe tobacco. We have, yeah. And we have so, another one. It's coming the wrappers. The wrappers. It's going to be six wrappers inside yeah, the humid pack, good for one year. And obviously, we know what people are going to do with the wrappers. Yes, smoke marijuana, whatever. I don't care. It's your life. It's whatever you want to do. But uh, we come in very hard. So far, we have uh, and just one, uh, how is it called, uh, people ask for it in California, and it's 400,000 bucks of six wrappers. The first client. Sure. So, right. I, I tell you what, Ish, I'm going to buy a pipe. I want to try your pipe tobacco. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to spend a little bit of money. I'm going to buy myself an inexpensive pipe, or maybe I'll just reach out to Ronnie from Great Lakes and see if he, uh, if he's got a recommendation, but I would love to try your pipe tobacco. Uh, because I sit at my desk all day smoking cigars, and it would be really nice to smoke a pipe here and there. So, just pick and up one corn cob pipes. Yeah, yo, and that's what I mean. Like, I'm gonna get something expensive. One thing that we have is 250 flavors. Okay, so we can make 250 flavors of tobacco. The pipe, the first one, the original that I bring, it was a couple of weeks back, is yes, natural. It's no flavor added. It's just flavor. And I didn't smoke it yet, to be honest. Adam did. And I give him 2.3 ounces, which is a bag like this big. He's gone. He, 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 he killed it already. I said, fuck. I said, to me, it's good. It's very good. I said, fuck it. I said, okay. So, well, I, I send me a bag of, that, of the natural. I'm going to get a pipe. I'm going to try it. I wanna, I'm going to use your tobacco to get into pipes a little bit more. Uh, plus, I think I would look distinguished with a pipe just hanging out right here. Personally. There you go. Uh, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> yeah, right? I need all the help I can get. Not and all of us go. can look like Cigar Jesus. <laughs> you will go. Well, why? Why? You, know? <laughs> you will be like it. The most so paper. it was so funny when uh, when Ish came up because uh, he stayed over at our neighbor's house. We were all friends. Uh, yes. for Cigar Fest, and we're actually staying at Isha's house uh, Sunday going into Monday when we're at uh, the Great Smoke in March. Absolutely. Looking forward to that. And um, my daughter was so amused by Ish uh, and his accent because she's never, obviously, she's 16 months old. So well, she's 16 months old at the end of this. So at the time, she was like 13 months, 12 months. 
and uh, she just kept staring at him and wouldn't take her eyes. Every time she would he would say something, she'd whip it, whip her head around. She was just discovering the accent. It was absolutely hilarious. Uh, it was like a little baby stare down with Ish <laughs> with my daughter. Everybody, so. but everybody does that when Ish talks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, huh? So, what? Ish, what? have you have you ever, as a as a a fine connoisseur of Winston vintage cigarettes, have you ever used any of your own tobacco to make your own cigarettes? Oh, that's a good I, question. You make your own rollies. I did. The only thing, again, I only been, you know. I smoked for 36, 37 years, producing tobacco for over 20. But when I make a cigarette, but it was a wrapper, you shouldn't inhale at all. But oh, I make a cigarette. <laughs> Fuck, man. I was like, oh, shit. Like a body line. <laughs> knock, knock, knock in the heavens doors. I was like, fucked up. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I did. <laughs> no, I did. Yes, I did. So how potent? And, and by the way, Lou, no, Danny's sitting right here next to me. He's not superimposed. Uh, it's it's the crease in the background, guys. That's throwing you off. It's the optical illusion. So Ish, obviously, when you're using a, 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 a cigar style tobacco. Versus the quote unquote normal cigarette tobacco, that's a lot stronger, way stronger. So, are you are you making a smaller cigarette, or are you going full horsepower, full size, and without filter? <clears throat> and I go and, and I do it, but I do it for me, just for fun. I do it and and hell, man, it's it's it's, it's a hell of a cigarette. I tell you that much, but uh, I inhale probably. Every other puff. If I inhale the whole puff, I will be. <laughs> How are you doing, guys? <laughs> you know, so. so every everybody, Adam and crew, after they smoked the big cigar, Ish made a three by three hundred gauge cigarette that everybody is going to smoke. <laughs> So it's 270 by 24 feet by 24 feet. <laughs> and he made one a little bit bigger in cigarette form with a long filter on it that everybody's going to be smoking this a filter <laughs> wow no, it's a cigarette man it has to be filtered <laughs> filter on a cigarette <laughs> so <clears throat> is here in the remaining time we have left let everybody know outside of the Bob Dylan, which is absolutely huge fucking news, massive news, um, that you're going to be doing the Dylan cigar. What do we have to look forward to next year coming up? Will you be at TPE? Will you be at PCA? Will you be at BCA? Kind of give us the events that you're setting up for next year. I will be not the TPE because it was, I was just waiting for my product because in the TPE, you will see more wrappers than cigars per se. Okay. Most people go for marijuana and store that cigars. So I will be as an attendee, but not being as a booth because I was late, but I will be over there. Then the BCA, I will be on them. Uh, and the PCA just happened that the PCA, Boutique Cigar Association, got a, a, has a collaboration with the PCA, and it's a big pavilion, and it will be 20 brands of yes, Boutique Cigars over there. So instead to be coming down and see Rocky Patel, Arturo Fuente, blah, 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 you will see us right in there. Boom. And it will be 20 of us with coffee, with music, with drinks, with whatever. So that will be um, done for sure. Then we have in May uh, 6 or 2023, uh, we just rent, I say we because I'm part of the, the BCA, uh, we rent a $50 million uh, village 
that he has, you know, the ocean right there is, is huge or whatever, and it's going to be just uh, an event for uh, cigars. So we had that done. Then what is new coming? It's coming about six, seven, seven now, seven now, different brands that they were in Nicaragua. They have reached to me within the past month and a half. And because Nicaragua, you know, it could be an embargo and all of that shit, blah, 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 blah. So they choose to me. So I have another seven brands on top of the almost every they have coming to me. Then another very big name up there that we all know, they choose me uh, or cho- choose us to make the cigars for them. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of things coming. Man. It's a lot of things coming. So I don't think a lot of people realize how many brands that you roll for. 78. So, just, <laughs> so you have 78 different brands. This is how big of an outfit that Ish has. He rolls for 78 different companies yeah. exclusively probably for most of those meaning Mm -hmm. you're their only manufacturer on top of issues. You know, if you remember the old encyclopedia Britannica books that are about yay thick, that is the size of issues own personal recipe book. He's probably got the most expansive blending book, uh, probably of most manufacturers, definitely in the top 10, size and scale of blending books. So how do you keep up with 78 brands and all of your own blending? Man, I have a photography memory, but sometimes it goes to, and somebody asks me, hey, my wife just called me before the show. Hey, honey, what is in this blend? I go, blah, blah, blah. How you know? I say, I made it. Okay. She goes, blah, 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 blah. Is this? Blah, blah, blah. How you know? I made it. And all of a sudden, she called me one more time before I went to shower. What is in that? I say, honey, I own 493 blends plus another 78 blends for people. I don't know all of that. So let me go and, and go. So I put everything on my phone and my computer, just in case. I, if you ask me right now a blend, I will say, I know the blend. But just in case, let me go. Sure, I'm not lying to you. I tell you that this uh, Creo 98 would, in fact, was Creo uh, 2000, per se. Because most people, yes, it's talking Creo 98. Creo 98 is not a blend. It's not nothing. It's the year. It's like uh, COVID-19. It's COVID-19. <laughs> Next year, it will be COVID-23. So it's, 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 you know, it's not the same COVID. It, it, yes, but, oh, Creo 98 is the best. Well, yeah, you've been saying that since before 2018 yeah. or before, excuse me, 1998. 1998, Kirill used for 1998. It's not for 1997 or 2005, you know, but people go like that. So sometimes I just go and I have to look on my on my papers, you know, my phone, my laptop, my, my notebook or whatever, because it's impossible. So you think about it, it's... 493 blends I have registered with the FDA. I have another 78 um, um, how is called, uh, brands that I do cigars. And then I have another 10 new ones from Nicaragua moved to, to us. So do the math. You know, it's, 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 it's almost 600 freaking. Uh, uh, I just cannot. And we, small, and we still very small, you know, because these guys is like a 500 cigars a month. A thousand, whatever. So it's not like a well. I have clients that is you know nine hundred fifty thousand cigars of the you know the leftovers, mm-hmm. like the scraps from flavor or whatever. But okay, you have those. So how many cigars do you make a year? Yeah, about three million. But really, what it pays about hundred thousand. You know, cigars, the real ones. But but yeah, it's it's hard. Uh, I cannot tell you all the blends by heart. I, I just can. It's too many. I, I just can. And I made the blends. It's not like a, I call the factory, my factory, and say, hey, Oscar, do this. No, I do the blends. I do the blend in the house. I send to them. They produce. 
but I, I cannot remember all of them. It's, it's, it's impossible. <laughs> it's, no, it's just, it, 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 would you have that many on that scale? Absolutely uh, impossible. So before we get into, um, I'm actually going to try to see if I can't uh, do something here really quickly. Um, but before we get into the giveaway, Ish, I would like for you to kind of, if you're willing to share a little bit, um, you just signed something that was very, very big for BAMF that, for distribution wise across a lot of lounges. Are you able to talk about that? Absolutely. So uh, I just signed, uh, that happened back in July, the PCA. And um, one of my friends, he do distillery and he do whiskey, bourbon, wine and beer. He told me, we had to talk about the cigars. And they pay much attention because, you know, yeah, we smoke cigars together, but it's no cigar guy, whatever. So this year, the PCA, he was the only guy, actually, that bought from me. He put me in 203 stores in Louisiana. Now we're talking uh, not just Louisiana, it's Mississippi, um, Alabama, and many other states. So, so yeah, that's that's what happened. So it's, it's and w when does when does that start to roll out? It's already um, done. I already sent the cigars. Wow! Wow! The cigars. Yeah. That's fantastic. So could you tell everybody just a few of the stores that they could find in? In in Louisiana, every single one of them. <laughs> so, I, I don't know even the names because these guys are distributors and importers at the same time. But obviously they're an importer. So import, send to them, they distribute. So in, in most of the, by New Year's, I guess, because they have it, and they want to just classify the cigars and put it out. It will be in 203 stores, counting brick and mortars, counting cigar shops, and all that, just in Louisiana. It's about 180 in Mississippi. It's about 100 in Texas. Uh, it is in Tennessee right now. People are working over there. And it's, 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 it's tons of them, tons. So, I mean, like, 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 like what the fuck, you know? <laughs> but, you got any questions? No. I, you know, everybody's talking in the chat. I've been looking at the chat there about, you know, the phenomenon that is ish. I watched him out here when he was out here in Denver take apart a cigar and actually tell, actually guess correctly what every tobacco was used in that cigar. And ask the, the the manufacturer who made it if that was correct, if that's what he used. And then when the guy tried to tell him why he used that ish, already went ahead and said, oh, I see why you use that because of this and this and this reason. Like, my mind was blown. I was like, I always thought, you know, I have a pretty good understanding of tobacco. But to watch somebody actually just go and just smell and go, oh, yeah, that's this or and then when he's like, oh, I think it's this, wait, hold on, lick this tobacco. Nope, it's this tobacco. Oh, I see you use this in here to 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 uh, to mimic the flavor on this part to do. And I, my mind was blown. I thought it was one of the most amazing educational experiences I've ever been able to watch in person. Yeah, I, I, re, I recall that night. It, it was the guy were like a. How the fuck you knew that? Well, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> but but yeah, he he couldn't say. He said, "I cannot lie to you." Yes, well, you said this is what it is. I said, "Well, yeah, it's well, you know, <laughs> it's like a, you go to a mechanic and you say, Man, my car is no not driving well. Well, you put diesel in the gas tank? No, I didn't. Well, this is diesel, <laughs> so you can go." <laughs> You kind of hide it. <laughs> it's diesel. <laughs> so yeah, it was yeah, cool. It was a good, it was a cool experience. I enjoyed watching you do that because I was just, you know, I'm just like, okay, I all right, I understood. It's like I understood why some of the tobacco was used, but when you actually got into some of the meat and potatoes on on why that tobacco was put into that blend, that was more for me a cool experience. 
because I was like, okay, I get why that was used. I get why. Oh, that's why that type of tobacco is used in the blend. Ah, yeah, man. I learned so much from you. I sit and watch. I sit on IG and I watch you in the lives, and I just listen to you talk. Because when you just start go explaining and going into to uh, blends or certain tobaccos and why one tobacco is better than the other, or how or how you can take this tobacco that's considered trash but actually make it into something great by using sure. these. Yep. To, it, I, I love it. I love it because it's. It's you, it's such a great experience and and education out there, and I, I recommend anybody when if you got if you're new to cigars or you're a vet a twenty plus vet like me in in tobacco, you will always learn something from Ish. Absolutely, no. Ish is Ish is somebody I talk to almost almost weekly, bi weekly for sure. Uh, where we'll reach out to each other. I think he's frozen. Ish, did you freeze? <laughs> I think he froze. He froze. Let's see. We'll give him an opportunity and see if he can come back in. Because we're about to do... So, everybody, anybody watching the show right now, what I want you to do, if you want the opportunity... To win the five pack of these new released cigars, uh, it's just gonna jump right back in. What I need for you to do, um, hold on, jump back in. What I need for you to do is hashtag bacon in a comment. Oh, so all you've got to do is write a comment, something nice about ish. And hashtag bacon inside of that comment. Do it right now. And we're going to be doing the drawing here in about three to four minutes. So definitely going to want to uh, go ahead, comment anything nice about Ish with the hashtag bacon inside of it. I'm going to try and score these. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Uh, there you go. So let's see if we can get Ish back in. Um, let's see, jump back in. Oh yeah, and Adam Ish is one of the biggest hearted people out there. I I could not agree more. Uh, could not agree more. All right, everybody. So what we're doing here is we're doing our Bacon Cigar Rocky Mountain Cigar Show Edition release today. It is the Breakfast of Champions cigar that Ish has that he has switched over to using my bacon as the source of the bacon grease. And we're about to do a five-pack giveaway. So if you want to be included... Say something nice and do hashtag bacon inside of that uh, issues computer crash, she said. Hashtag bacon inside of that comment. You've got about another two minutes to go ahead and make a comment. Uh, and we will randomly, I have a random generator. It will pick up on the hashtag bacon, and we will move forward from there. So currently we have eight entries. Everybody watching, please say something with hashtag bacon included, and we will wrap you into this drawing. I'm really hoping that Ish's computer starts back up good, and uh, and we can go from there. But but. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Danny and I have actually been good friends since I started Rocky Mountain Cigar Show. He's one of the first people that kind of befriended me and reached out. Uh, if you're looking for any information on Danny Ravinelli, all you've got to do is go to Instagram, search 505 Cigar Review, and everything will pop up. You could find his YouTube page. Uh, Danny and I also do a live show, which we just concluded, 
uh, last or this last Tuesday for the year called Raw Cigar Review, where effect, uh, effectively what we do is we smoke a cigar neither of us have smoked, and we just do a live cigar review right there. Uh, a, quite a few times we've had the manufacturer uh, come on the show and uh, and sit there and either listen to how much we like it or listen to how much we don't like it. That's just one of the things that happens on that show. And uh, we've gotten great feedback from the manufacturers that have been on. And Danny, give everybody a, a little bit of a, a, just some additional stuff about you and your show and kind of what sets you apart um, from even what we do collaboratively. Well, the, you know, my, my channel and my content is more boutique centric. And so I put a focus on boutique cigars, the boutique cigar culture. Uh, I don't mess with the big brands. There's a thousand other channels you can watch or get content. If you're into big brand stuff, me, I'm into the small band brand. And so, uh, I'm I'm all about showcasing them. I'm all about um, getting uh, getting um, you to want to go to the other side of the humidor where you're probably not looking because you see all the cool big displays of the other stuff. Uh, so um, that's mainly my channel. I don't really do reviews much anymore um, because of the YouTube suspension that I got uh, hammered with back in May. <laughs> the next Martin and Lewis. <laughs> YouTube hates us. <laughs> YouTube hates us. So um, Monday nights, I do a live show like Ryan here. I do a live show. It's geared towards the small batch and boutique side. I have guests on who are part of the boutique culture, uh, who are manufacturers of small batch cigars or boutique cigars. And I also do every couple months, I do a showcase of content creators out there who I don't think get enough love uh, out there in social media and who should be bigger. They put out great content and I want to showcase them and also give them a bigger platform that they can, they can showcase their, uh, their stuff. So um, yeah, if you go, if you, if you follow a lot of cigar stuff on Instagram, if you go searching, if you just get five in or five zero in uh, I'm always going to be the first name that pops up on there. You can't miss me. Um, I have a lot of content. I post a lot of content. Um, but since I took the month of December off from the Monday night shows, you can get, uh, I'm doing a whole month of, uh, Christmas and holiday themed cigar reviews. So, um, that's it. Really the only reviews that I do now are Tuesday nights with this guy. So until we come back live on Tuesday nights, uh, you can catch uh, you can catch reviews from me uh, over on my Rumble page, Facebook, LinkedIn, and I got a link tree over on my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on all social media platforms over there, just click on the link tree and it'll take you over there. Uh, there's also uh, for uh, the the brands that I have uh, are the stores that I have uh, I have discount codes with. You can go over there. You can check. You can check out and save yourself some coin on some promo codes. Uh, since it's the holiday season, treat yourself since you're treating everybody else. Uh, so, <coughs> um, yeah, I'm 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 super happy uh, that Ryan uh, invited me to to come down. It takes a lot for me to want to have to deal with Denver traffic to get down here, <laughs> but <laughs> I do it for Ryan and I do it for Ish. Uh, you know, two of my favorite Sorry, people out there, me. and. Uh, you know, I'm I'm super happy to to be here live and in person. So absolutely. So 10 seconds more. Get your name in right now with hashtag bacon in your comment. And we are gonna do a five second countdown to the end of the uh allowed comments. So five, four, three. Two, one. Danny is my witness. I have StreamYard has this whole um, randomized pick based on keyword. We have eight entries right now. Danny is my witness to the winner. 
Okay, it's on this screen right here. I'm watching it. And in fact, let me kind of turn and I'll do it like this. So let's see who the winner will be. Oh, I put my cheaters for this. Put my cheaters for this. <laughs> Oh, 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 Danny wins. <laughs> there so you go. go. I'm, Danny, I'm, Danny I, I just did it for fun. I just did it for fun. Danny, Danny wins. You can, re, you can we'll redraw. Do, we'll do a redraw. redraw Danny, I just did it for fun. Danny gets these cigars, so we'll do a redraw. Uh, hang on, hang on. Hang hey, guys, do this because he won. He won. Let's do it one more time. I will be another winner. Go ahead. There you go. go. Mr. Wolf. Adam Wolf wins. Mr. Wolf, way to go. Adam Wolf wins. So, Adam, you obviously know Ish, and Ish has your information. So, Ish will take care of making sure you get uh, get your cigars. The new rendition of the Breakfast of Champions, RMCS edition. As a matter of fact, Adam Wolf, he's been working for many, 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 many years in the veterinarian world. And uh, for the past two years, more or less, he told me that he wants to do cigars. And he scored, starting this Friday, a job at the lounge over here in, uh, in Florida. So, Oh, that's fantastic. He, absolutely, yes. Awesome, awesome. Well, I tell you what, for Adam, since you won, um, and Danny, since you won, when you guys smoke your cigars, please tag Banff, ROCF, and Rocky Mountain Cigar Show, and please give honest feedback on that cigar, as it is one that I'm very, very proud of, and uh, hopefully the bands can come in in time to where Ish could wrap those cigars that the five-packs with the RMCS edition band, and then Absolutely. ship those out. And so thank you, everybody, very, very much for tuning in. This was the last show of the year. Next year, quick show announcement. Next year, I'm teaming up with a marketing company, and this marketing company mm -hmm. is going to be doing a lot with us, as well as coming on as a sponsor of the show and is going to be doing a lot of marketing, a lot of beautification of the show. So you're going to see a completely different show background starting the, I think it's going to be my first show is either the second or Thursday of January. So you're going to see a completely new background. You're going to see a completely new show background for the mountains. You're going to see new ads and promos for uh, the show on Thursday teaming up with somebody that Mickey Pegg over at All Saints recommended. And it was just a great relationship that we just kind of clicked and talked. And uh, Ish and Danny both have the insider news on that. And it is just going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a, a lot of beautiful enhancements coming to the show that I am looking very forward to. So Ish, as always, brother, thank you so much for always being so willing to come on. I look forward to this new venture, uh, to this new venture with you and seeing how these cigars sell. So one last time, Breakfast of Champions, the RMCS edition is released today on ROCF Cigars and BAMFcigars.com. Use promo code BAMFRM20, all capital, for a 20% discount. Or for some reason, if that doesn't work for you, you can always, it's only a dollar fifty two dollar difference. You could use RMCS15 for 15% off the entire website. So you could only use one promo code. So if you're shopping around and you see a bunch of shit you want to buy, use RMCS15 for 15% off everything. Or if you only want to buy the Breakfast of Champions, you're more than welcome to use the 20% off promo code BAMF, B A M F R M. 20 all capital and you'll get 20 percent off that code the for 20 percent off is only good through sunday at midnight and then it goes back to the regular uh rmcs 15 code so ish yeah. thank you so much for taking time out of your night and Absolutely. uh always always appreciate chatting with you 
and I look forward to uh, coming to your neck of the woods in March. That's good. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Absolutely. Don't stop the smokes. Food. Drink. More cigars. <laughs> no, it's going to be it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be very fun. Yeah. Absolutely. And to Bruce's point, they're only 3750. They're only 3750 for a five pack. So even if you forget the promo code, it's not going to break your bank, but I'm telling you with coffee in the morning, it will make your start to your day perfect. So, what, Ray, jump over, check. Yeah. I, I tell you something. Um I went to a, one of the biggest um cigar lounge over here in, in South Florida. Her name is Christy, and she has the biggest lounge and distributor or whatever. And when I saw, saw her the price, she was in shock. She told me I will pay 13, 14, 15 bucks for these cigars all day long. No questions asked. I'm talking the number one distributor in the whole Florida. So wow. It's a really, really good cigar, guys, at a great price. It, it's fantastic. Trust me. It's and, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. I love the regular breakfast of champions. This blows it out of the water. And if you oh, watch sure. Danny's reviews, Danny doesn't care if he's a friend. He is brutally honest. I have I watched him make manufacturers cry. Oh. So I'm just telling you right now. Only, uh, only, only, <laughs> only one who then trashed me. Even though I didn't say anything bad. Even though I didn't say anything bad. So, only one. So definitely jump over. Give it a shot. Big shout out to... Bam and ROCF for sponsoring the show. Thank you so much, Ish. Absolutely. Shout out to Bab Nova at Smoking Cigars, K by Karen Berger. Uh, well, I should say Karen Berger from K by Karen. Uh, her cigars are absolutely fantastic as well. Christoph Cigars and New Air Humidors. And tonight I did a pairing with the official drink of the Rocky Mountain Cigar Show, Axe and Oak Distilleries Bourbon. It went absolutely fantastic with the cigar. Ish has had all of those that I've had, and he yes, actually will attest that they are I very said, good as well. I so, said, what if, uh, you just name Kellenberger twice. Another thing, just because we over here, it's your last show of the year. Kellenberger and I, we come in with a collaboration as well. So... Oh, we, you come up with, oh, really? Oh, oh my gosh. Stop so, the presses. Wait a second. Ish and Karen go. Berger are teaming up with a collaboration that we should see for next year. Yeah. Next year? We, we start, nice. we start in May, then June, July, then October. It was, you know, going all the way to uh, uh, Dortmund, Jersey, uh, uh, Germany. Blah 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 blah. Say, ah, we will do it, and we're working on it. And a few other guys uh, that, yeah, yeah, but this one is sit and done. So, yeah, awesome. Everybody, that's exclusive so world announcement. <laughs> Bamp and K by Karen are teaming up for a collab next year. Definitely stay tuned to that. From the bottom of my heart, guys, coming up on year three of this show. I can't believe it. Never would have expected it coming from the backyard with my <laughs> serial killer shed in the background. And, and, and honestly, it, it, it just has been such an amazing ride. I've loved it. I love everybody that watches the show. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Have a great new year from Danny and I and Ish, and we'll catch you all in 2023. And until we see you all again, Smoke what you like. Smoke as often as you can. Have a great rest of your week. Bye, everyone. Good night.